everyone. I hope you had a good time watching Katie do some Pokemon. I I I don't know where she got to. I think she was at the end of the first Elite Four, if I remember, if I was listening correctly. We're gonna go beat up, beat up stupid Dragon Man with his red hair. I'm if I if I remember correctly, I feel like Lance is the senpai to Raihan in Sword and Shield. I want to say that's true. I want to say, like, Raihan's just like, Yo, Lance, you're my inspiration. Yo, I love you. I don't know if I'm making that up, but in my head, it's true. If it is also true, that's pretty poggers. But also, let me get, give out some quick shout-outs. Thank you, Katie, for rating me. I love you. Bye. Thank you, Myth, for continuing your tier one sub. Thank you. Thank you, Bradley, for giving out a tier one sub to Skeptical Moose. And thank you, because I'm cosmic, for getting cozy. I appreciate it. I'm just waiting for Cedric. He's getting set up. He's shooting out some tweets and just getting cozy. Oh. Yes. He is making a tweet. Because this is, this is, this is, this is just an idea I came up with last year around December. I just shot him a message. I was like. Hey man, do you want to like do a podcast where we talk about seasonal anime, but like also like low key torture ourselves? And he was like, "Yes, let's do this." And I was like, "Hell yeah!" So I think it's gonna be a good time. I'll get uh, when I call Cedric. I'll get into like the rules and idea behind anime roulette and why it's called anime roulette and whatnot. I want to pop a gamer fuel, so if you hear that, I'm sorry. Ugh. Gotta get, gotta get fueled up, because right after this, I actually have raid in World of Warcraft. I'm joining a, uh, I'm joining a uh, streamers WoW raid. I'm in the trial period right now. It's week two. I'm oh, pretty good. Having a good time, hanging out with good people, having a blast with, you know, other nerds just vibing. It's a good time. Oh, the gamer fuel is spicy. Oh. Today has been a day because I did stay up till <laughs> I did stay up till 8 a.m. this morning playing video games with friends and it was a hoot and a half you know when you say dumb shit and you're all just laughing and crying and you can't see so I've roughly gotten probably like <laughs> Three and a half hours collected to sleep. So, I've been drinking a lot of coffee and gamer fuel. I'm just like, I gotta go. I'm so powerful. There's just a little tired guy inside my mech suit, just like, please, sir, we're running low. And I'm like, more gamer fuel, power up. But yeah, that little nap I took before, Nathan. Nathan cuddled on my lap and we had a good little nap. I'm gonna like this, retweet this, and I'm gonna send him a message and see if he's ready. Ready, handsome. Let me let me pause this music. It's somewhere on my. Let me give him a cellular call. Hello. Oh wait. Oh fuck. I'm on push to talk. Wait. 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 <laughs> I forgot. I have to be put on push to talk during raid. So whenever I like join a call, I forget. You were playing World at Warcraft. Seriously. World at, at World at Warcraft. <laughs> world at World of Warcraft. I'm sorry. Raid Shadow Legends. World at Craft. <laughs> hello, my, my boy. Uh, hello. I am a sleepy boy. How and are you? I, and I'm Art Boy. What a hero. Although. <laughs> you can, you can, <laughs> I like how that was me, like, being like, hey, how are you? And you were just like, you took that as, like, your, like, podcast introduction. Like, hey, oh, yeah, God. what's up? It's me. What a hero. Your art boy. I thought that's what we were doing. <laughs> well, 
I, I guess that's our title, though. I'm Sleepy Boy. I'm Sleepy Cozy Boy, and that's What a Hero Art Guy. Yeah, hey, I'm What a Hero Art Guy. Jesus. Um, oh, so you, you, you want to start like yeah. w- with like what this is, because this is the first episode? Yes, uh, yes, exa- yes, yes. I'm just trying to find... I had a tab open that I want to make sure I have the winter anime open just so we can look at it, and then I need to open up the list I made. <gasps> the list. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, is that uh, Kate? Our homie. Yeah, Kate. yeah, our homie's here. Our homie's here. Alright, you ready to put up the f- freaking thumbnail? Yeah. The, the art, the beautiful the art, art you made. The, the, the art the, I made. <laughs> the dark art. So, I'm gonna, before I preface this, I'm gonna put this up. So, the idea behind anime roulette is based on Russian roulette. Because the idea is that at one point during, at the end of this first episode of this winter 2021 uh seasonal anime we are going to be putting a list of anime i made of this seasonal anime into a random generator and whatever show gets picked from that list we have to watch it that season and you know in the later episodes of this this you know winter arc we will be discussing it Mm -hmm. and my favorite thing about this is i didn't mention to you is that cedric that list i sent you most of the anime is under six uh out of 10 on my anime list Under six out of 10 on my anime list <laughs> yeah so we're uh we're reaching we're reaching deep for this <laughs> yeah because we also we also went through and we picked the anime we actually want to watch so you know mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There, there's there's nothing on this list that i care for that i like actually like want to watch there's like nothing i just don't give a shit like none of this like really speaks to me and yeah some of it just kind of sounds boring a lot these are isekais, so <laughs> no surprise there. But All right. here, here's uh, this beautiful art that Cedric drew. It is us dead. <laughs> it it is it is very much us dead. Yeah. Or uh, or are we playing dead? And it's just a prop, you know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we are bleeding, not real colors. So real I co- like we're, to we're, I like <laughs> I like to think we're okay. I I'd like to think that we're like. Th- those are our dang and rampa selves. <laughs> that's that's like dang and rampa. Yeah, you know, there's a because ba- of because <laughs> of like the colored like blood, just so that we get past TOS. <laughs> I I I also forgot that I also forget that in dango d- 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 in dang- okay, take your take your time take your time uh, in dang and rampa they just all like color blood mm, pink. That's right. And then like when I see screenshots, I thought it's just like aesthetic choices but then i'm like oh no that's just like pink gross it's really like fucked up yeah no that was that was definitely a way for them to get past the age rating they got us i've never played a dankarampa in my whole entire life i would say uh it's gameplay wise it's not that great up until uh the third game is that the first person shooter no, no, no! You're thinking of uh, I think the Spare Sisters. That's a spin-off game. Uh, the third game just ha- is like really polished compared to the last two. Anyway, very anime, very anime light light novel, visual novel type game series. You should check it out. Very I'll check entertaining, it out just for you. Especially if you love like death games or that type of genre, it's very entertaining. Um, mm. Yeah, my friend Jade wants me to really play them. I'll probably one day stream with her because those are like her favorite games. Dude, it is such a it's such a good game to make a let's play series out of. There's so much content to just milk out of that series. L- uh, looks at Game Grumps who keeps making like an episode, a forty minute episode every day for like the listen, last three months. Listen, listen, you can shut the fuck up. I love I love their playthrough of that. You can just shut up and I please tell. I I wasn't yeah. saying. I like how you instantly went to like being defensive. You're like, yeah. you shut yeah. the yeah. fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> you don't talk about Dan and Aaron like that. I'll beat you up. They're my dads. Uh, because like you, you it's, it's like you will always when okay whenever you mention game grumps it's always like oh i just don't like it oh oh i'm so edgy i i don't I, like things <laughs> is that how that works if you don't like that, game grumps you shop at hot topic no, that's no, just the law no no no, no 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 i completely understand not liking game grumps it's just that whenever it, we bring it up you will always say yeah i don't like it 
It's just like to reaffirm it every single time. It's, I'm so I'm sorry that I have opinions. I guess I'll die. An opinion that you keep regurgitating every time it's brought up. Yeah, that's just called human conversation, Cedric. <laughs> it's like when your mom tells you the same story from her childhood 40 times. Yeah, that doesn't still... mean it's any less annoying. Yeah, exactly. It's called human conversation. God we're saying the same just... thing here. <laughs> Describing the fucking mortal coil we're in. <laughs> yes, exactly. Let me just hit you with the reality truck and run your ass over. All right, anyway, we're moving on. Let's move on here. Uh, why don't you list the animes... Uh, you decided to watch this time around, but your picks, not the random. Yes, ones. yes. So, so out of this season, animes that I chose to watch because you know, I I I enjoy an anime or two. I'm watching the second season of Doctor Stone. I'm watching the second season of uh, Promise Neverland because those are two shows that I thoroughly enjoy. Doctor Stone, I'm caught up on the manga. So I'm just excited to watch it be animated because that show is just like very, very dumb. Attack on Titan, final se- Attack on Titan, final season. Gotta watch that. Gotta watch the classic be made. So in 20 years, when all these weebs are having children, their parent, you know, they get to show them Attack on Titan. Like you know, people got to show like Sailor Moon and shit like that. Like look at Dragon Ball Z. Wow, you know. You know. You know. Uh, we probably should have made like a little template thing to put in the middle poster because that uh big black. Oh void no, of no, Cedric, is, Cedric, is don't worry. Good. When I don't worry, you'll see what I have planned for that. Because because okay. I want right. to actually talk about the anime about that. Okay, so you basically have segments planned. Yes, out. yes, I do. Do you have mine? Do you have mine? Ready? I do have yours. I'm oh, fucking yeah. prepared. Eat my ass. No. Uh, you're, and you're, then I'm watch- <laughs> You have a wife. You have a soon-to-be wife. It's true. Uh, and then I'm watching the third season of Log Horizon. This winter this winter anime season has a lot of, like, second of season, sequels. thirds and seasons. Yeah, yeah a, lot, a lot of sequels. A, lo- a lot of, the, a lot of the, the sequels that, like, I know of anime we haven't watched, I took off the list just because I didn't want to, sub- like, subject us to put us right in the middle of it, you know? Yeah. 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 And then the only <laughs> anime I'm not watching that is brand new is uh uh Horimiye. That that uh that is one of my favorite mangas that got turned into an anime, which is just like <sighs> I'm so excited. It's so good. I can't wait to talk about it. Alright, okay. Alright. Now 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 I pick five anime. How many anime did you choose, Cedric? <laughs> listen, listen. I didn't think I'd have the time nor the patience to to do a lot of anime, so I only, I only chose two, and my picks were Skate Infinity, the skateboarding anime, and X-Arm, the anime I thought looked pretty cool on the surface, <laughs> but then I watched the actual anime and I wanted to die. It yeah. is not great. All right, so Jake talking about that i'm gonna i'm gonna put up we're getting that's the first anime i want to talk about cedric i want to talk about x arm cedric because i haven't i haven't watched anything about it but fuck have i seen screenshots about it and cedric tell me tell me about x arm cedric all right yo okay so let me tell you about x arm right (laughs) tell me about x arm cedric so i'm gonna preface this by saying uh, the manga, the original source material is a lot better than the anime itself, but not in the ways where it's like, oh, of course the manga is better. It's it's further in. It's uh, like or whatever. It is just a billion times better than whatever the studio that animated this came up with, because the <laughs> the anime <laughs> is pretty rough. If you haven't seen it yet, you can look up the trailer at X Arm, and it is uh, basically a <laughs> hybrid 2D and 3D, mostly 3D CGI anime, and it is <laughs> it is rough. It is really rough. <laughs> the screenshot um, I saw of his like, I I don't know if it's like his brother or something, but this clear 2D house and these 2D other like this 3D character standing next to this fucking clearly wet like not even badly animated 2d character and then just just oh, just yeah. jarring just fucking yeah. clay man next to him i took pictures i took a picture and a clip i need to show you this clip 
Uh, but and in the meanwhile, while you're looking at that, I'm just gonna talk about what I saw. Um, so so in the anime, it, it's basically about this dude who's like, uh, he he went through a car accident and he wakes up like 30 years into the future in 2000, uh, uh, uh 2030, I believe. Um, oh, okay. And then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And here comes the thing. The the way this anime presents itself is so bad, I honestly do not remember to look at the subtitles for the plot, and I concentrate on how bad everything else is. There there are scenes in there that floored me so hard, I had to pause and then point out what it was wrong with the what was wrong with what I was seeing. To, to anybody who would pay attention, because... <laughs> anybody else was... see? Is anybody else seeing this? Yes, yes, exactly. Also, I just said, uh, I'm about to send you a clip of what I saw. And, um, th- there was a fight scene, right, where it's like, the uh, uh, there's an android and a police officer who are, again, like, uh, part of the main cast, uh, to this protagonist dude, um... And the android's, like, fighting, and they're about to escape a fire. And then what I noticed was, after they beat up the bad guys, the there's just a gif of a fire playing in the background. <laughs> it's not a real explosion. It's not rendered. It is a gif of a real fire superimposed over a pile of crates. And it's so so blatant. I, I can't... I kept repeating that scene for like five times just to make sure I was right. Is that is that a gif? Is that an actual gif? That's am I not... am I losing my mind? Yes, yes, I was actually losing my mind. It was uh it just wasn't a good experience overall. Like I'm not uh, sweating in anticipation for this fucking fire gif. <laughs> I don't actually have that, sorry. Um, oh. uh, instead it is I'm I'm sending you like a clip of the main character superimposed oh under the under the android character but they try to do it in a way where it's like oh uh, our main character is is like um he he's like digitized he 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 lives in a cyborg brain now and he's able to like jack in and into neural networks and like uh, digital networks and stuff. So wait, are you telling me that this is just like shitty or ghost? This is just shit, Ghost in the Shell. This is pretty much shit, Ghost in the Shell. That this anime, I'm, nice. I'm sure the manga has its own merit, but the anime does a, such a poor job that I I can't stand watching it. I remember, like specifically, going into the anime episode one and then feeling nauseous. I I actually felt <laughs> sick because. <laughs> the there there is a scene at the very beginning where the protagonist is with his brother and his brother's like being very supportive like oh you you gotta do your best uh bro you, uh, you gotta you gotta hey, <laughs> hey there on brother you gotta you do gotta, your best you gotta you jack gotta, in you gotta be brave you gotta be a, a man uh. and then what i noticed immediately was the bit the big brother was in 2d but the protagonist was in 3D, mm-hmm. and they interacted <laughs> like nothing was wrong. You could very, you could tell like immediately they were not in the same plane of existence. <laughs> brother, I'm very sick. Sorry, brother, I cannot help you. You were on separate planes. <laughs> yeah, like it was so jarring. I I just don't understand why they would choose to to have like two different mediums I wonder if to I can, convey this anime. I wonder if I can find a picture of You can them. find a picture. That, that it was it wasn't great. <laughs> um, it's like it's like somebody saw Ruby and was like, I think I could do that. Hey, I think oh, I could here, do that. Here's an easy here's an easy pick. Here's an easy pick. It's just yeah, so You'll see this constantly where the side characters are 2D, but the main characters are 3D. And I, I, I don't know why. It should be the opposite. Because, like, the 2D 
the 2D like artwork is way better than the 3D renderings. I, I don't I understand. Hold on. <laughs> but hey, let me let me grab a video capture real fast so we can <laughs> look at this. Look, let me just zoom in of this. Just like God, he's. It's like like I said. It literally looks like this dude's like, hey, do you want to see my beautiful clay statue I made? Look at him. He's so lifelike. And then it fucking moves. And he's like, oh my god. Oh god, what is that? Like fuck, man. I wonder. Oh I'm gonna see. God. I want to see if I could Google Xarm Fire GIF and see what it brings up. God, I I don't want to go back and watch that. You know man. what's the funny like, thing ever? You're contractually obligated to watch all twelve subjects. Am I? Am I, I really? Yes, you have to watch it all. Yeah, I, yeah, I actually do have to watch. That's it. just watched, how this works. I watched episode two today. <laughs> and I cannot, for the life of me, like remember what the fuck happened, except for Where like a few I? key points. Um, so I'll I'll give a brief brief fucking recap of episode one, so we can move past that already. Uh, uh, protagonist gets into a car accident. His brain uploaded to machine called X Arm. X Arm, uh, super duper powerful machinery X technology. X Arm. It stands for. Developed. Oh God, we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> developed, developed during the time he was in a coma as a result of the car accident. He is nothing but a brain at this point, encased in metal, and like that's the entire thing. Like each X Arm, like him, uh, has like a special ability. His is the fact that he's a living being that can port into like other technology. That's mm. that's the main premise. And so uh, the first episode is basically about this android and this cop uh, taking his brain and and bring it into custody with people who know what the fuck they're doing and trying to stop people who abuse X arms by taking this one first. That's the oh. end of the episode. Like, it's very simple. Um, problem is the execution of how they <laughs> handled, like, you you have to see it to understand, but how they uh explain exposition in the anime is just by taking a camera angle of a character and just having their their mouth move like Muppets while explaining the plot. Mm. It is not immersive at all. It's just them saying the premise and that's it. There's no every action scene is just disconnected from what's happening. Like, it, like, you'll you'll get plot, then action, plot, then action, but all of the movement it makes it really confusing as to what the fuck is happening. I remember um, when you showed me the trailer for this, and I was watching it. There's a scene where I guess the girl main character was fighting somebody on like like a like a banister, like on like a, a top like banister. A, yeah, and she fucking does a slide. And it looks like this. It's the slowest slide in my whole. Life. It literally looks like somebody's taking like a JPEG and just like scraping it across the screen and just like running it into another JPEG. <laughs> okay, I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, now in episode two, thank God there are only two episodes out of this much. There's twelve, baby. Uh, yeah, you can fuck it off. Uh, we'll, 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 I'll talk about that later whenever it comes out um in episode two there's something really noticeable they did that was it, it was horrifically cheap i noticed this um they would in order to like add emphasis to what a character was saying they'd zoom in on the character but then the background would also zoom in but at a slower pace <laughs> so it looks like the character is just becoming a giant like slowly no, zooming in no, and it doesn't the here's the thing how do you know they're not becoming a giant and they're just like <laughs> stretching it out they don't turn into the giants and the worst part is they don't do this just on the cgi characters it it's less jarring on the cgi characters but they zoom in on the rendered art for the 2d characters so that you can actually see the artifacting and the fact that it's losing resolution as they zoom in <laughs> so so it's just it's like it's like going into a fixed jpeg then zooming in all the way oh my god <laughs> it's just not great oh like, my fucking god I'm, I'm like i'm like doing it right now on my computer and it's just crispy 
It's crispy. <laughs> crispy. So Cedric, right now, tell me, tell me what you would rate. Uh, right now, X Arms has a two point two four on my anime list right now. Oh my god! What would you give it, Cedric? As uh, as of right now, your two episodes that you're in, what would you give it right now? Because I want to see if it change. Because that's the thing is, I want to see if our 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 thoughts behind these shows change as we go on throughout the season. I mean. <laughs> What is this? Out of five? Out of ten? What? Uh, let's do out of ten. Let's stick. Let's stick to the golden <laughs> standard of my anime list. You know, we gotta. We gotta be part uh, of the anime community. I, honestly, two. Honestly, two. The reason why it's not one is because some of the. Because there's two episodes, the... one for each one added <laughs> no. up. There's two. But no, that's not no. <laughs> no. It's just that, like it, it's not a one because some of the. So some of the animation and the art is so bad that it's actually entertaining just to find out what little fuck ups or what little like like horrible mistakes they put in there. Like, um I I, I laughed my fucking ass off at this. Where uh where um the the main protagonist took control of the Android girl and uh to to symbolize that he's taken control over her uh-huh. Um, immediately after the police woman is like, "Ugh, you you'll never you'll you'll never um be you'll never beat the good people because we're good or whatever." I I can't I can't fucking remember what she said because it mattered that little. Um, after that motivating speech, you see the android and then, like, superimposed over her body, you see the protagonist slide over like a soul over her body as a still cgi image and then you see the both of them facing the the same direction and then it, it's just the weirdest thing where it's like a uh you know powerpoint where you'll have a slideshow yeah it's like they a star wiped it they star wiped it. oh my god <laughs> but it's like the, it's the protagonist star wipe like it's the protagonist wipe where he just slides out of her body Jesus Christ. Just so that you know he was in there. Oof. That's going to be a big oof. All right. So X Arms for right now has a 2 out of 10 from Cedric. 2 out of 10 from me. All right. Let's start, wait, wait, uh, Cedric, what anime do you want me to talk about first out of my five? Oh, my God. Which one uh, interests you? Honestly, Promise Neverland Season okay. 2. All right. Let me, um, just, let me swap uh, out the pictures. <gasps> boosh. Production value. <laughs> boosh. Boosh. <laughs> It's like it's like it's like a little guy comes out and just switches the posters real fast. Promise Neverland season two, I feel like it's just more Promise Neverland, which is cool. Like so, this is this is going to be a spoiler warning about season one of Promise Neverland because this is the second season of Promise Neverland. So if you don't want to hear anything, mute the stream. But yeah, so. With season two, they're, you know, in the outside world, they've escaped this orphanage with big, you know, <laughs> quotation marks around it. And then they get, a, um, they get introduced to like the outside world and they start seeing the demons in real life, you know, and like my first thought about it that I thought was really funny. I saw a tweet about this that says, fuck, I'm, I'm, I can't wait for promise it Neverland season two. Just because people are going to simp over the demons. <laughs> oh my god. And the first demon we get introduced is this very tall, muscular... He, like, he's just a <laughs> human with, like, like gray skin and just, like, wearing a mask and has sharp teeth. And I'm like, yeah, he's hot. Like, of course people are going to want to fuck this. Okay, and I hate okay, hold that. On, hold on, hold on, Jordan. Before we get even further, I found, I found the video. Here you go. Okay, let me... Oh, no. I'm just... Okay, let me let me put this. Can I can I open this on open link? Okay, let me put this yeah, on. Okay. Let me put this on the stream. Wait, oh, wait, it down. Sorry, do it, just, do it, right. do it. I want to see it. Let me, let me throw this up real fast. So this is this clip from EXO. What is this? The first episode. This is the first episode. Yeah. No, go away. No, what happened? No, go away. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> They do look like fucking Muppets. <laughs> oh my god. 
dude really do be sliding out the body. <laughs> just just slip sliding out. It's Jesus so Christ. Good. It's so good. Holy like, shit. That sucked. Love... <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. That's why it's a two out of ten, dude. I just love how she was just looking at him, saying nothing, and the dude's just like <sighs> immediately transition to and transitions to a new scene. Like <laughs> they just left that in and thought it was yeah, that's good. That's good. Like <laughs> 10 out of 10, we're out of budget. Keep going. Right, Go faster. All right, all right, all right. All right. Back to Promise so Neverland. So Promise Neverland is just like nothing has happened yet. It's been three episodes and like they've just been chased, saved, learned about the outside world, learned how to like survive. And then they finally made it to like the, the bunker made by the guy named William Minerva who writes like Morse code books. And that's the way they, that's how they figured out how to escape. And like, that's it. Nothing has like happened yet. Like the end of episode three was like a stinger. So that's what going to make me want to keep watching it. Just cause like, like, but like right now I'm just kind of bored. It's just like, and I kind of hate looking. My problem about promise Neverland is I hate looking at the children. Like I don't like their design and there's so fucking many of them. Like I know, like, I can, off the top of my head, I can only remember one character's name. And it's Ray. <laughs> it's Ray. That's it. Like, oh, Ray and Norman. So simple. Ray, like, Norman, and... Oh, fuck. I can't remember the girl's name now. I'm drawing a big blank. <laughs> <laughs> Children should not exist. Kenny with the hot takes. Are you kidding me? Emma, that's what it is. She's the main character. They're just... I just... I don't like looking at them, Cedric. Ray, I, Emma, Norman. Like, come on! It's like they, not even Japanese names. They're fucking like regular Euro. I'm Euro stupid. <laughs> but yeah, like, go on. learning about the world a little bit, like in this like drip feed to you, is like nice, and it's gonna like keep me going. Like, I'll finish it, even if it gets shit. I'll finish it. There's never been an anime that I've started watching and it got bad that I stopped watching. You know. Like, I always finish it to the end. I'm just like, I gotta see, you know? But, like, right now, eh, I would give it, like, I'll give it, like, a 7 out of 10 for the three episodes that are out right now. Nothing has, like, super happened. Uh, yeah. Well, it's, I, I, it's still I, I, it's still just Promise Neverland. There's still this interesting world that I want them to tap more into and just, like, give me more information about. But I'm just waiting. Hopefully, you know, by the end of the season, I'll be super interested. Or I'll do what I do with most shows and just power read the manga in one day, you know, and then just be, you know, invested in it in that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, uh, I, I already read the entirety of The Promised Neverland, and um, I, I, I know exactly what arc you're on. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, I'd say that after their... We're already fine with spoilers, right? I mean, I don't want you to spoil anything for me. Oh, no, no, no. I'm talking about, like, what? Season one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. I did yeah, say so, a so, big spoiler warning. So, like, after they escape the orphanage, like, I will admit, like, it's very slow getting to the next arc, which is the Goldie Pond arc. But, mm -hmm. um, uh, I, I completely understand if it's, like, boring, because nothing really happens. It's more of, like, a setup to what happens next. Yeah. Um, I'm sure they'll expand on it. Mm -hmm. uh, the I don't know if the anime will portray it as well because it was pretty fast in the manga. But mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure you'll like it. Oh yeah, uh, I have no doubt in my mind. Uh, I'll at least have somewhat of a good time. Maybe then you'll fucking remember Emma and Norman's name. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> like Hot, literally, that's press all you X, have to remember. Press X to fucking doubt. Like, like I will say for Promise Neverland, the beginning was always gonna be the strongest. Like, the strongest oh yeah, because you had that, have. you just had that like intrigue and interest. Uh, but the problem it, with it, the Promise Neverland to me is that if you really, really think hard about the first arc and everything that's happening, it's really fucking dumb. If you really it, think it, about Ray's character and like what has happened to him, it's really dumb. It's um I mean a lot of the a lot of the like plot developments are like how characters solve things or how they came about. 
is usually through like uh, like raw emotion like mm -hmm. for like the reason why mother uh ha like let them escape is because at the very last second she was like all right you win and, and i'll 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 face whatever punishment i get next because she gives up for their sake yeah and, and it's because of her sentimentality yeah that they even get that far she could have easily like gotten them yeah or at least some of them but she just chose to give up like yeah. a lot of the it, it's not based on logic is what i'm saying mm -hmm. a lot of these developments it's oh, yeah. always based on emotion there's That's a lot why... of you could you could put what i just said to all anime that if you really think about it and you really break it down and like it's stupid it's very dumb but you watch yeah. it because it's good you know it's like but, but it's, pretty colors go flash i enjoy you know as far as characterization goes it's pretty consistent aside mm. from like the sun heel turns like uh what what was her assistant's name mother's assistant oh i don't uh, the, uh... The, she she gets uh fucking murked as soon as she uh tried to betray her i don't remember her name yeah i can't remember her name all i remember was that the artist did a very poor portrayal of a black person crony was, yes yes yeah uh, that was really uncomfortable yeah. uh oh god if you her side chapter was way better than mm. like how she was in the anime it feels like a, a lot of the designs you said before you don't really like how the children look no, right they look awful yeah, the art style in, in particular for the humans is not great it's sort of like that thing with um attack on titan where not all of the character designs are gonna be bangers mm -hmm. it's some of them are just gonna be really forgettable and nothing uh it just has to do with the art style um otherwise like it's it's still a beautiful show Yes, you know, and I'm excited to talk about it in, you know, a couple more weeks when it's more into the season. Now let's talk yeah. about let's talk about a show that I like a lot just because of how dumb it is. Uh -huh, go on, Doctor Stone, baby. I knew it. I, knew it. I, as soon as I said something fucking dumb. love this show just because of how absurd everything is. Dude, of course it's gonna be fucking absurd. These these people have been. Like a kid has been conscious for like how many years? It was like it was like a thousand years that he literally counted. No, not even a thousand, like three thousand something. Like it was so long. I think no, wait, all right, let me double check this. I'm pretty sure it's only Doctor Stone age skip. Three thousand seven three seven hundred years. Three thousand seven hundred years. That's how much passed? That's how much passed. He they he was counting all that time. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ! In case, oh yeah, damn. But and like, only the people who were conscious got to break out by themselves. Otherwise, you need like help. Yeah, you needed the miracle liquid because like so. This is the second season, and like the main the main draw about Doctor Stone that I love so much is that it's about this main character named Senku who is he's this teenage smart guy, you know. And everything about him is just over the top. He's always just being like, we can do this 10 billion percent. He's always just saying he's very smart, but always saying dumb ass shit. I love it. And just like, and so he wakes up in the stone world. There's no technology. So he keeps just building absurd things and it keeps just like rapidly going up and up. And like, it continues going in the manga also like, you know, like what can they top next? So like, and the first one, the big thing is, like, he's just trying to get labor. So he's, like, there's, like, an actual mm -hmm. village of people. And, and so to solve that, to get them on his side, he makes a ramen stand. Yeah, like, he makes, like, ramen and, like, he makes a light bulb out of, like, all this stuff. He, like, makes iron. He makes katanas. And he just, like, keeps going up. And, like, the end of season one, he makes a... I love how they call it a smartphone. It's, it's just a it's really. just a fucking radio. It's just a radio. I mean, I, I mean honestly, it, Senku likes to fuck with people a lot yeah. as a character because he knows he he's like the smartest person there aside from one other character, but that's spoilers. Um like, like of course he's going to be purposefully like vague sometimes just to like fuck with people. Yeah. Uh, so when whenever he says, "Oh, we're going to make a fucking tank." Like, it's not going to be a tank. It's yeah. going to be, like, something very similar in shape, but it's not going to be functionally yeah. the exact same as a tank. 
he's trying his best in the stone world and using the words from our world. But the yeah. whole idea of the second season is called Stone Wars because in the first season he ends up waking this guy called the what it was it the youngest primate high school student is his like the title? youngest primate delinquent student. He's like super strong and jacked. Uh, like the first thing oh, to do when like Senku wakes him up in the first season is he punches a lion to death. One punch kills he a fucking lion. A lion to death. Okay. Uh, like a lot of the people they revive from their stone form is always the the super something. Like they they're super talented in some way. Uh, like they're and... all like almost like popular. Like they almost were all on like Japanese TV. So like they're mm-hmm. known for something. Yeah, so he revives Sukasa, the, the the strongest high schooler, and now you, you know, go go. You're the one his his, his, his whole thing is that he wants to only he doesn't want to revive any boomers because boomers ruin everything. Well, That's his, his justification is all the old evil people. They want to bring ta- they want to bring back capitalism, and Sukasa is <laughs> not about it. And at the end of the day, you're just like, man, fuck Sukasa, but also. I understand. Like you gotta yeah, understand though. Like he, he he wants to murder like a lot of people, and not only that, but he wants he wants to make it so that science never like advances as far as it did back then. That's already kind yeah. He of just a, wants to be Unga Bunga Caveman, which is not something everybody's gonna agree with. Obviously, so yeah. Like even if they, even if these people are still stone, you can still bring them back to life, right? Yeah. Okay, so when he okay. ki- when he punches a dude's head off, he's literally killing somebody. He's literally killing someone. Yeah, for sure. So okay, so back to season two because. Uh, so like season two, it's nothing's happening yet. They're not doing anything like crazy right now. They're setting up because like the idea is that like Tsukasa is gonna attack Senku when winter's over because they can't attack during winter because you know it's fucking cold you know that's the you don't attack during winter you know don't attack russia during winter don't attack during winter it's a bad time for everybody involved so they're both on each side are stockpiling to fight each other well Sukasa's stockpiling to fight senku and senku's trying to find a way to beat Sukasa without fighting so he's uh, trying because he, he he doesn't want to murder him. Yeah, Sen- Senku doesn't want to kill. Sukasa's just like I'm gonna fucking kill everybody because fuck you. I want to do. He wants to he wants to push his own like thing. So I've only watched the first episode. I think the second one came out recently. I didn't have a chance to watch it. But in the first episode, they pretty much make dehydrated ramen. That's the whole episode. Uh, that's it. Yeah. That's it. They make so, dehydrated uh... ramen and they they have a plan on what they're gonna use the radio for. So. Yeah. But I know what's going to happen in this arc, and I'm just excited to see it animated. You, you, read, the, you read the manga. Oh, yeah. I'm fully, I'm like, I. You're, I, you're caught up. You're caught up. So you know exactly how, like, how over the top the shit is going to be. Oh, yeah. And the, then it just keeps going. That's the best thing about this. That's why, like, when people are like, when they say it's, like, the best anime ever, it's not the best anime ever. It's the no. dumbest, hypest anime ever. Because. It, you look forward to what they're going to make next. I'm looking forward to what dumb shit is going to come out of Senku's mouth on what he's planning. Because there's exactly. always, like, this overarching thing that he wants to, like, do. And, like, the animation style and the facial expressions in this anime are always funny. They're, like, like... The 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 character design is known for, like, very, uh, very over-the-top expressions and stuff. And, um the weird like lady eyes that are really far apart so for some okay you know i figured i don't think they talk about it but i do you know why right why inbreeding oh my god oh because my god. because the the way these people came about is that there was people on a you know what watch season one and it explains it and then you'll realize that like yeah it's because it's like the gene pool they come from is a very small gene pool so it like it like breeding from a small gene pool causes a lot of like defects so that's why they're drawn like that why are the guys like why are their eyes like relatively normal like i don't oh you know what that's a good point i didn't think about that did you seriously think that was the proper justification when like when chrome has like yeah chrome is like very smart and the Very girls just look kind of fucked up. Yeah. Hmm. Like, how, that doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Like, it's, it's definitely an art style thing, but you can get over it. But you like, know what? It's like, only the like, girls from the village, because the other girls aren't like that. Like, the, like the, 
when they get introduced you to the multi. Right. You are actually right because Yuzu, Yuzu Riha, who is uh, Taiju's uh, love interest, uh, the his the Senku's best friend Taiju. Um, she's not she, drawn like that. She's not drawn like that. She has very regular eyes, honestly. Uh, <laughs> hmm. You're right. Interesting. <laughs> weird. Interesting. Very I don't want to talk about that anymore. My All brain. Right. My brain is like, why? <laughs> All right, well, well there, there wasn't much for Dr. Stone this time around, but uh, what about uh, Horamiya? Horamiya. Horamiya. Okay. Horamiya. Is it Horamiya? Horamiya? Mia? Horamiya? Horamiya. Right, right, shut, shut up. I, shut up. I hate. <laughs> shut up, bitch. <laughs> I hate Just saying Japanese that. words. I can barely speak English. And then when it comes to like another language, my brain's like, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, bro. You ain't going to do this. This show is, is an anime adaptation of my favorite romance manga. Mm-hmm. It's so fucking good. Like mm-hmm. they pack so much density and character and just, feelings into like these three episodes that i'm just like i'm smiling ear to ear i mean yeah ear to ear every time i'm watching this episode because the main premise of the show is you got this character named toru and izumi and the idea is that toru's like the big popular girl in this in the class right and then izumi is the gloomy sad kid like nobody talks to him he has no friends and all of this jazz and what we come to find out is that you know toru never goes out with her friends she always goes straight home because what we find out is that she she's more of like she has more of like a house mom mentality she goes home she takes care of her brother she cleans the house she does all the chores makes all the food and does all the cooking right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and that's that's her secret like nobody knows that about her nobody knows this like housewife side of toru she's like in school she's just like she wears makeup she's just like this very vibrant bubbly character in uh school she's the popular girl and yeah. then ease me we come to find out because one day uh toru's brother falls down and uh like hurts his nose and then ease me walks him home and when we're introduced to Izumi outside of school, he's this guy, he's got like a top knot, he's got lip rings, he's got earrings, and all this stuff. And we come to find out that he's like, he like, the reason he doesn't talk to anybody and like keeps his hair down and wears glasses is because he's got piercing and he has to hide them. And he doesn't want people to know this side of him. Mm-hmm. Like that he's like this kind of like punk kid and she, and like, like he's got tattoos and all of this. So the idea behind this show is that these two characters have these secret lives that nobody at school knows about, right? Yeah, they have their surface personas, and then they 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 fall back into who they really are at home, yes, or outside of school. And they just that's their interaction that is built off of of them sharing their secret side, like scraping off the the surface level and seeing each other and being like being each other being open with each other and being themselves around each other, mm-hmm. which then it starts to affect their school life because, you know, Ori's talking to Izumi more. So, you know, Izumi's friends take notice and they start interacting with him more also. And so then him being this gloomy, sad kid, he actually has friends now and you get to watch this development of him, like being this sad boy to just like having friends and having like a good school life. And, you know, just the way they do the drama and like, the the developing relationships are so good and you get it's because you you as the watcher you also get to watch and see what's under that surface layer right Mm -hmm. and the way they execute it is like it's just i love it it's like it's so good and this like the comedy for me is just like very good i like it a lot just like it's very slapstick and just like the way they all interact with each other it's just band of characters very, is, um very wholesome yes it's, it's very... just very wholesome it's a very wholesome romance anime that doesn't mm-hmm. it doesn't mess around like a lot of romance anime does where it takes them you know a whole season to Forever. fucking hold hands yeah. and shit like that yeah, or make mean, feelings okay, yeah so so would you say it's like following the same track as like let's say uh monogatari like um... it's like it 
kind of yeah but it's not it, it doesn't have like the like the fast talking crazy stuff about monogatari and i also the animation for this is really good wait what am i saying that's not the right anime i'm sorry i meant like um i thought you meant like because monoma guitari like the main character is like you're my boyfriend now fuck you and he's just like that's no, awesome. talking, about the, talking about the big guy and then oh my love story Love story, yes. Fuck my yeah, bad. my love story is one of my favorite animes. I can talk my about my love story. It was so good. It was so. It, I'm just asking because, like, instead of taking forever for them to get to dating, do they do they get to it really fast? Like my love story. In a sense, yes. Okay, because like the the way it goes, it's uh, the fact that I, I I love it whenever a shojo or a slice of a life anime immediately gets to the relationship aspect. Oh yeah, like at, only after like maybe one, two, three episodes. Yeah, I think you would like horror me a lot. Okay, because I I adored my love story. Oh it yeah, it's like it, it's it's that feeling, right? That yeah. that's the feeling I get when I watch horror me. I get the same feeling of watching my love story, where I'm just enjoying myself the whole time. I'm just having fun and getting to watch this and just like there's these moments where Hori, Hor, uh, uh, Toru and Izumi have these moments where the world kind of melts around them and they have this they reflect the other side by shadow the 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 shadows behind them and they just bask in these moments of being able to enjoy being themselves around each other and it's just like mm. And the opening and the ending is very good. Love it. Mm, mm, mm. I see. I, I fucking see. love yeah. this show. I will. I literally 10 out of 10 for me. Not going to lie. Watch three episodes. 10 out of 10. Really? It's fucking. It's everything I wanted. Because like like I said. I've read this manga. Because oh. it's still ongoing. But like I'll, like I'll I'll fall off. And then what I'll do is I I'll see. go back and I read see. it. And I've read through it four times. Dude, I completely understand because, like, I, 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 when I read Ore, Ore Monogatari, that's that's the reason why I got confused. It's because it's called Ore Monogatari in Japanese. Oh, I got it. My you. love story was the same way where it, I didn't know it kept running for such a long time. I didn't so know that I, either. Yeah, it, it ran from 2011, the same year Horror Mia came out, and then ran until 2016. Like, oh, it, I gotta go back and read so it. Good. It's so good, like like seeing these these romance the, the these romance genre animes and mangas just diving into the relationship part. One of my of favorite the romance. one of my favorite things in my love story is when she's just like, "I'm having I'm having indecent thoughts. I want him to call me my I want him to hold my hand." <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, everybody's like, yeah, you fucking slut. I bet you do. What next? You want him to call you your first name? <laughs> <laughs> it's oh. so good. It's, it, I mean, yeah, yeah. Just these, I, I hope there's more of these types of love stories where they're not afraid. The author's not afraid to write a person in a relationship and have it go from there. Because yes. I, I realize a lot of shojos fall into that trap where they just tease a will they won't they situation nisekoi <clears throat> oh my god do, do not remind me about nisekoi it took forever sometimes uh, i think about nisekoi and i just get physically angry <laughs> i'm just like fucking god damn it i can't right, believe yeah. i wasted my life so so would you'd recommend this anime for sure 10 10 would recommend it if you ten like if you like romance you like just kind of like just bubbly good anime 10 10 would recommend all right, all right, that's a good score. Um, I have two anime left, and you have one. Okay. Uh, um, I have Log Horizon you... and Attack on Titan. Okay, well, okay. How about you do Log Horizon, then I'll do Skate Infinity, and, and then, then we'll end on Attack on Titan. <laughs> and then we'll choose our randos. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Ready? All right. Go ahead. So Log Horizon. This is the third season of this anime. It's a video game isekai where there's this game called Log. There's this game. I can't remember what it's called. I don't remember. I don't know if they ever actually. I feel like they say what the main game's called, but it's like super kind of not important. But Super kind of not important. There's an expansion that comes out called the Gaia expansion. It's called uh, Elder Tale. Ah, that's right. It's called Elder Tale. Hello. Um trying to think so they log on during this new expansion and they get they get isekai into this world 
And the the thing I like about Log Horizon that like it's it's really hard to explain. Log Horizon is one of those animes you either watch and like or you don't at all. Because Log Horizon is not about action. No, it is not. It's about exposition. It it's is about ex it yeah. is literally about human beings now living in this world and dealing with everything to do in this world. Like the NPCs are now real people. So they have to like figure out how to make diplomatic relationships with them because like these quests in like the game, it's just a quest, you know, you do it, you get a reward, have fun. But now these are real life people who you yes. have to like interact with and you have to deal with like their diplomatic problems. And one one of the biggest things about this is no one can actually die. Like like all the players are unable to die. They get revived at a church and come back. But NPC deaths are permanent. Yeah. So they have to. They then have to work together. So instead of then like, you know, in Isekai where you follow a character and you watch them be powerful to defeat the Devil King, this is all about exposition about like these people coming together to live in this world. Like, deal with the problems that are coming up. Because, like, you know, they don't talk about it. Like, I mean, Sword Art kind of touched on this a little bit, but Log Horizon does it much better where, like, it's really jarring. It's really fucked up. I'm in this world now, you know? There's monsters. I can feel pain. I have to, like, live in this world, right? Yeah. It's And they, like, deal with that, and they figure out, like, what's going on and they build like this like un un autonomous uh like government in a sense where uh -huh. so they can figure out where they all the big guilds work together to help everybody like yeah. a lot of a lot of the beginning of this series is them figuring out how things work w w one of my favorite arcs was um them figuring out how to eat yes and, it's so uh, good to produce food it was so satisfying them trying to figure this out and it was like like oh man that food looks so good like i kept thinking like how are they gonna solve this like it it, it basically makes mundane things about the other sides of mmorpgs and brings them into the spotlight of them trying to like um, yeah it, adjust like... to how this world uh, operates it, it's it's like it's it's very reading heavy you know it's not like where there's just like you know quick exposition bunch of fighting this is like exposition is the fighting it's people having mental scenes. there is fighting but it's like it takes a back burner it's it, it it feels the same way as almost my hero does a lot where my hero it has very good fight scenes but my hero has a lot of exposition right there, there, yeah, a lot of world, like a lot of like building on like how hero society acts or yeah. like how it works. Like it's not just like I'm gonna become strong, beat this guy up. It's like here's consequences, here's what happened, here's what could happen, what will happen, all of this stuff. They look at everything. It's not because you know a lot of time in anime actions don't have consequences. There's oh, always yeah. it. Everything always leads to something good most of the time. In like. Hmm show like animes like this in isekais there's always just like you know i'm the big strong beat your ass i win kind of thing yeah but in here they're literally saying every little thing you do has a consequence and we have to deal with it and we have to figure out all how to work together and my favorite thing is in the third season so the first two seasons is like building up this like you know figuring out how to live in this world together what are the problems and then the third season is now the people of land are now roping in these adventurers into their diplomatic problems even more and now shiro the main villain has to like destroy what he made because now it's working against everybody uh, you you should probably say that the people of the land are what they call npcs yeah right? that's what an npc is called they call people of the land but yeah oh, like so you, you called shiro the main villain <laughs> Hey, no, I said he's the main character, and his oh, name okay. is Villain in Glasses, is his oh, title. Right, 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 you're right. But, like, it's, like, it's a very, like I said, it's very thought-provoking and very, like, exposition-heavy. It feels like it's a breath of fresh air, almost. The art style is always really weird to me, because, like, it feels like, it feels like one of those, like, 2D, 3D MMOs. It feels like you're looking at Ragnarok online, right? But it's in 3D. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Like I know a 2D animation. Saying. But yeah, I if you like exposition and you like world building and very like 
thought provoking stuff i would give log horizon a try i would give it like probably a seven out of ten mm. because you know it's not for everybody like i'm rating it on for like how many people would watch it how much enjoyment can you get out of it it's really like based on the user huh. but it's a good time i like i'm i'm excited to see how this goes how would you rate it Seven so out of far. ten, I said. Seven out of ten. All right. Okay. You stupid idiot. All right. Well, uh, it's time for this stupid idiot to uh, get to his other anime he picked out. Hot Come boys back. on skateboards. Tell yes. me about it, Cedric. <laughs> Infinity, baby. Oh my god. So after <laughs> after tasting the shit. That was X Arm. Now we come to the big league because I fucking adore this anime. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it, it it reminded me of the vibes I got from Air Gear, where it's just like uh pretty anime people like like skating around, but it hadn't it it this Skate Infinity has none of like the the fat that Air Gear had that tried to like make things more dramatic more more meaningful than it really was uh instead skate infinity is about skateboarding and how it rules okay <laughs> there's no like oh i want to be free i want to i want to skate everywhere my wings will take me it's about skateboarding and how fucking rad it is okay mm-hmm. uh, it it starts out with uh, a, a kid named Recky losing against uh a guy named uh, Shadow, his codename is Shadow or whatever, because there's like a league of people who compete in skateboarding competitions called S. Mm. And if you challenge someone to an S duel, you go through a designated skate park and go through a race to see who meets the end. Anything goes, you can trip them up, you can throw shit at them, and it's, it's fucking awesome. Like, the animation is stellar. Like you, you feel like you're you're riding with them is like all that motion, all that weight. You can clearly see that there was effort put into every animation regarding like skateboarding. They they did their work and studied how mm. skateboarding fared. Yeah. Um and like it, it, it's it's so good. It's so good just seeing like nothing but raw animation of just moving around and shit. There's no actual fighting. It's just skate. It's just racing. It's so satisfying to look at. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, after he loses against Shadow, Reki, our main Shadow. character. <laughs> By the way, Shadow is not as cool looking as you think he is. He is uh he is not great looking. Well, no. Um, and so Reki go. Reki runs into this uh, foreigner who from Canada named Langa, who turns out to be a transfer student to his school. Mm-hmm. And uh, because Langa is looking to get part time job, he works for Reki and his uncle and, and his. Uh, I think it, I think the shop owner is his uncle. His uncle runs a skateboard shop. Uh-huh. That, and then he and Langa. Uh, talk about skating or whatever and it turns out Langa was a snowboarder bef- when he was in Canada with his father before he died Okay. so it, you suddenly have Langa who's super interested in trying to find a way to get that high of snowboarding again through skateboarding so on a job to, uh, to deliver a skateboard to S mm-hmm. they go deliver a skateboard but it's the wrong one they fucked up uh as an apology uh the the person they deliver the wrong skateboard to has forces one of them to race against shadow uh to, because uh, for the sake of a bet that mm-hmm. he wants to win so langa takes Reki's place cuz he really wants to see what skating's about but he only knows how to surfboard so snowboard he, snowboard right snow, s- snowboard right Hello. so he fucking duct tapes his feet <laughs> to skateboard because he doesn't know how to like hang on it by himself like a sk- skateboarder would so at first it seems like uh shadow is gonna fucking win or whatever but then like langa slowly pushes himself and then Slows uh, like he slowly like uh, hops around until he gets enough momentum to go down the skate track, and so they have this race, and you see like this wonderful animation of like uh 
Langa putting in his knowledge of snowboarding into skateboarding, and it's fucking it, it it's just beautiful how how the animation works uh f- to for the story's advantage because yeah like all the motion of snowboarding you can see like he's using the right posturing for snowboarding but applying it to skateboarding it's just uh a great way to describe this kid's like a uh, desire to fulfill um his want for a sport that he can't have in Japan because mm-hmm. it was in Canada. So now he's adapting to this new sport in in Japan. And so uh obviously he he races Shadow by some miracle he wins and then that's the end of episode 1. Um Now because... I'm looking I'm looking at these characters centric. Mm-hmm. Langa's really hot. Langa Langa's <laughs> Langa's yeah. smoking. Yeah, he is he is the one with blue hair. He is uh his father's Canadian, his mother's Japanese. Mm. Um his father's dead. Uh, oh no. But... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and then uh yeah, and then you you see Reki and Langa bond over this uh because next episode uh Langa tries to skateboard again without duct tape and it turns out he sucks dick. So Reki spends his time training Langa to be a better skateboarder, oh. and it's it's very cute. Their bromance is very endearing. They're they're very nice to each other, very uplifting. Now um, here's the question: Can I ask you a question? Yeah, go ahead. Now it's you say a bromance, but uh-huh. is it is do you get Yuri on ice levels? Are they no? Get, it it is not implied that they like each other yet. Boring. If, if, I sleep. If if they were, I I would think it'd be pretty cute. Um, but I don't. I think they're mostly gonna concentrate on the skateboarding aspect of the anime. Damn. But if it ends up like Yuri on Ice, then it'd be a pretty cute thing they have going on. Epic um, coggers. <laughs> <laughs> God, love Yuri on Ice. Um, yeah. Um, if you like good animation, if you like skateboarding, I say pick this up a lot of the tricks they do what it what, uh, not gonna lie what it sounds like it sounds like every sports anime they animate it, the yeah. sports real good they do the sports <laughs> real good everything the else it's real good and then the the characters are really cool with each other and yeah. it's just like it's just bros vibing it's all kind of They're the same vibing. but goddamn do they do the sports real it's... good it's really good, man. Like they they're really bros. Like they're like really I, bros. They're really like bro. Like uh I wouldn't mind if it was just like a slice of life with Reki and Langa's interactions with each other throughout the school. It would have been a cool slice of life, but instead you get a sick ass like good skateboarding anime. Sick ass skateboarding against demon clown people. It, it, it's very charming. Like I love the opening for this anime it's it's just like a a simple like a uh, hip hop like opening of just them trying to skate and then langa fucking up it's very endearing that sounds uh, that sounds amazing yeah cuz it's it's so cute it's so cute uh i love the art style everything about it is fucking great the music choices are perfect for what they're trying to convey for the motion for for the motions like they're trying to convey to the watcher mm-hmm. uh i'd give it a uh nine out of ten nice it would have been yeah. a ten out of ten if uh if there were pretty girls oh okay <laughs> <laughs> I do... well, i'm joking sorry no, i have to go me. cancel what a hero on uh <laughs> what a hero on twitter no, real fast no, please <laughs> No, no, I'm joking. I I, I, although I will say it's kind of disappointing there aren't that many like girl skate skateboarders in the anime. Me, it's only been two episodes. Maybe there'll be more. Maybe there'll be more. Then it'll be a ten out of ten. Now, see, here's the thing, right? About sports anime, most of the time the main characters are boys because I feel and, like sports yeah. anime is directed towards a certain audience, which kind of sucks because. Uh, I I get it. They're not a lot of sports or unisex, but this is fucking skateboarding, man. Come on. <laughs> like, I'm not even saying that sports are unisex. I'm just saying that like 
sports anime are generally pushed towards the the what? female audience yeah. because it's like, look at these hot boys do things, you know? Yeah, I, I, I feel like it'd be cool if, like, there there was a perspective for every sports anime where it's just everybody is involved instead of just, like, one gender relegated okay. to, like... <laughs> okay, wait, whatever. let's talk about something real fast that I thought about. There's, there's... I was thinking about Free, right? Yeah, go ahead. So Free swimming anime, hot guys shirtless swimming through water, right? Mm-hmm. And then <laughs> I was thinking about what's what's the foil to Free for men, Cedric? Um, it's I don't there's know. one in Keijo. Do you remember Keijo? Kei. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they don't make sports. That's why they don't make sports animes for men, Cedric. Can you can you, can you put up a picture of Keicho? Oh there's my god! I don't know if it's I don't know if it's against TOS. It's totally okay as long as you choose one where they're fully clothed and no butts are showing. Oh my god! I don't even know how to spell it. Um, Keijo K E I J O. Um, for those who don't know, Keijo is With about this- six exclamation points. Keijo is this fictional sports anime or uh, sports manga and anime about uh, about girls and women or like girls and women. (laughs) God damn it. You you can't say this in a way that's not creepy Uh, of them going up against each other in in like a, a water based arena. A pool? Like, a pool! They're called pools! You, you gotta admit, some of the arenas they're in are fucking absurd. Like, <laughs> a water-based arena. That's just a big <laughs> swimming pool with lily pads on it, boy! Okay. So for reference, the shit they pull off in these pools are so absurd. Like, a lot of the action looks like it came sh- straight out of a shonen. It's so absurd. And they fight but with their like, butts! That's it! They fight with their ass! <laughs> fight with their butts and their chest and that's the main premise and it is a lot more actiony than you would think it's a like the, surprisingly they put less attention on the fan service and more attention to how the fuck they're gonna beat each other's ass up with their ass like it's a lot more violent than you'd think it's very funny yeah. Um, literally, it, like, literally, I've never watched it but I've seen like clips of it and just it like so when funny. the ass hits like the other character, the impact behind it feels like somebody just got decked by a brick. Yes, okay. Like, not only that, but they have fucking attack names for each, like, each, like, butt attack or each boob attack. Like, Machine Gatling applies to this girl. It's like Monkey Lee. Le- it's, like, it's like Monkey D. Luffy, but instead of them stretching, it's. I just looked up. Wait, real fast. I just looked up attack names or Keiju techniques, and the first three are Butt Gatling. And it's literally. <laughs> it's literally fucking the dumb fate thing. What is it? Gates of Babylon, where the guy summons all the swords? Hey, you're thinking of Gates of Booty Lawn. Dude, <laughs> fuck you. And then, wait, and then the next two on this list are Breast Hypnosis <laughs> and Vacuum Butt Cannon. <laughs> vacuum Butt Cannon. Vacuum Butt Cannon. This with Breast Hypnosis. Oh, okay. This is getting way too... This is, this is, Sorry, this is too he went on Keijo Tangent. <laughs> Where, where, uh, why would you show the Skate Infinity thumbnail while we were talking about Keijo? Well, I had uh, Keijo up for a second, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, I um, guess That's so, why but... they don't make sports anime for men. They tried once, and it was too <laughs> no. horny. Not only that, but Keijo got axed. Like, that was a really sad day. R.I.P. Keijo. R.I.P. Keijo. Now, do you want me to attack, a talk attack, attack on Titan, or do you want to pick anime first? Uh, do Attack on Titan first, then we'll save the picking for la- uh, picking for last, yeah. Alright, here's- I'm not gonna go super into this, because Attack on Titan is a very- It's a very touchy subject matter, especially <laughs> with this new season, because the anime fan is a rabid fucking monster, where they're just all like, MAPPA's ruining it, I saw CG, I'm gonna fucking shit in my bed, it's- The hot takes of this season are so infuriating, I wanna beat people up. <laughs> Like I want to, I want to fight everybody on Twitter, and, they, and then they talk shit about the opening. I'm like, the opening's so good, it slaps, it's amazing. But what I'm gonna say about Attack on Titan is that it is 
a show that does a lot of things. It, like all the culmination of everything that has been building up has reached its climax and I'm caught up on the manga. And all I can say is I have fucking no idea, Cedric. This is all I'm going to say about Attack on Titan season four. I do not. They This is the last season ever that they're going to animate. And the manga ends in April. Yep. There's only 16 episodes in the season, Cedric. Uh-huh. They have 40 plus chapters left with only 10 episodes to go. Wait, what are you talking about? Attack on Titan is monthly. No. I'm saying that they have 40 chapters to cram <laughs> into 10 episodes. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. And the thing that. is, these are like exposition, like talky chapters. And I'm just sitting here, just like, I don't know how they're gonna do it, man. I think they're gonna have to cut stuff. Well, obviously, I mean, God, I, I hope it comes to an end that the author intended, because the, the it's, it's really disheartening if, like, an anime has to change itself. Has has to change the story of the source material. Well, what's happening right now is super fucked up. It's yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Like what's happening yeah. in the manga and what they're gonna do. I'm just trying to figure out how they're gonna fucking animate it. But also, right now, this season, first four episodes are kind of like choo choo sleeping because it's just like introducing this new element to the show. But bro, the last two episodes have been pure Attack on Titan hype. It's just Bro, like, like episode five was about. Uh, we why don't you fucking go in depth about this, by the way? Because I don't want to. I want. I don't want. I don't. Because there's so, because you can't attack uh, talk about the season without giving everything away. There's no possible way. Like if you're gonna watch like Attack on Titan, watch Attack on Titan. Like there's nothing to say, but like the hypeness of just like the new Titan fighting and just like the air gear, like. Move maneuvering gear is super fucking cool. <laughs> like it's super cool. Can, can't you at least say what season four is about? It's pretty fucking important. Well, that will spoil literally everything about the fucking it's show. Literally everything. They admit what's happening. Yeah, it's it's bad. What? But we we talked about last animes already. Why can't we like spoil what happens here? Because I want people to watch it, Cedric. Yeah, but you. I want people to watch Attack on Titan. You watch the anime so you know what happened. I'm talking about tell them what happened in the anime, not the manga. Oh, I mean, okay. So, like, we get introduced to this new country called Marlia, and they've been in this conflict with other countries because they use Titans as weapons, right? So they've been the one who have been just, like, making Titans because we get introduced to these people called Eldians who are the brood of Titans, in a sense. So we start to learn about more about like, hey, what's happening on the what's happening on the main character? What's happening with the main characters and like why all this bad stuff happens up? Oh, it's been these assholes the whole time being big dickheads over on fucking. And it pretty much turns into World War Two in a sense. Where it's just like this, like crazy nonsense about how we learn about like how these people are being treated and the Marlians. And then we learn about like where Titans come from what's up with the powers and all of this like crazy shit and then like the main characters then come to marlia and they're just like hey you guys fucked our lives up real bad so <laughs> yeah i'm gonna fuck with you yeah and then they just start killing people and titan and aaron's just like i'm gonna eat this dude and i'm just like yeah man that's fucked up bro that's pretty <laughs> fucked up pretty fucked up it's pretty fucked up. <laughs> and then somebody sees a CGI windmill and then they go on Twitter and threaten the fucking artist to death. And I'm like, God damn it. I hate this world. Oh my God. But yeah, uh, watch Attack on Titan if you are interested in it because it's where they're going is actually very interesting. And like, I'm excited to see how they deal with it. And like, Attack on Titan oh, yeah, is a very sure. like, it's it's the anime that where you go like, can you watch Attack on Titan? That fucking cringe. <laughs> Well, it's because it's like Attack on Titan is so has gone so mainstream. Everybody knows. Yeah, about but it. nobody did that with Demon Slayer, which makes me angry. That is also true, but at the same time, Demon Slayer is still like starting. Like it's only gotten to like a, a season one and a movie, and it yeah. already ended. Attack on Titan is still going. Yeah, true. 
But Attack on Titan's almost over. But yeah, Attack on Titan, yeah. I would give it uh I'd give it an eight right now. I agree with Because it's six I episodes think. in because it started in December. Because it started yeah, earlier yeah. than the winter season actually started. But yeah, uh the fight scene uh the Titan fight scenes are still hype as fuck. The storyline is very convoluted. <laughs> <laughs> it's As soon as they brought in like in world politics, I zoned out because it, it was a lot to take in all at once. You're um, just like, huh, what? <laughs> but yeah, mm-hmm. Attack on Titan, it's, 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 if you like it, you like it. That's, that's all you can say about it, you know? Yeah. And if you hate it just because it's fucking mainstream, eat my ass. I hate you. <laughs> sure. I hate you. All right. I hate all people right. like that, Cedric. Okay, okay, so, uh,. I bet you do. As a, ble- a as a Bleach fan, I've ha- I've dealt with it for years. Oh my! Oh, are you re- are you excited? By the way, when no, <laughs> when not, at all. not at all, <laughs> not at all, not at all, not at all. For reference, people, the final arc of Bleach is getting animated, and it's not Jordan, good. It's not good. Jordan, Jordan is apparently very upset. It's not because because Bleach got bad. Bleach got really bad. <laughs> But anyway, uh, here's we go. Let's spin the ru- let's spin the oh, anime yeah. roulette gun and see do, what do you I get. Actually, have like a thing to show people. Uh no. I, I mean, it's very ugly, so I'm not gonna show of them course. anything. Uh, of course. Because it's just it's just like it's just a generate random choice thing. All right. Are you at least gonna put up like a poster of what each one is gonna be? I, I can I them? can when we figure out what we're watching. All right. Well, so well. Do you want to go first, ma- Cedric? Well, how many am I getting? Two? Do you want one or two? Two. Okay, you want two? All right, let's see. Right. Here we go. We'll do th- Here comes mine. Uh, back arrow? Back arrow. Can back you show that? arrow. All right, let me... Let me... What hell is back arrow? All right, let me let me find what it's... Um, let me find it on my anime list. Back um... arrow... Ring, Ring Grindindo is a land surrounded by a wall. The wall Can covers. You... Yes, I'm just putting it on right now. Okay, because I have no idea how this is spelled. It's back arrow, B A C K. It was literal back arrow. Back arrow. The oh the walls God. cover, protect, cultivate, and nurture this land. The wall is God. It is the foundation. This land of Rigardio. One day, a mysterious man named Back Arrow appears in Isha village on the outskirts of Ringardio. Arrow loses his memory, but says that all he knows is, I came from beyond the wall. To restore his memories, Arrow heads out beyond the wall, but is embroiled in a battle with himself as the skate. Is this Mecha Attack on Titan? I don't fucking know. Have you look it up on Google Images? Look at the look at the one where the main character is looking at the wall. It looks uh looks uh pretty. I like how wait, I like how I like how you like gotta look up the anime. you gotta look up the anime. Anime. I like how you look up back arrows, it's like here's a lot of back arrows. I know. <laughs> But yeah, look at that look at that image and tell me it doesn't give off. But look at this yeah. but look at this though, Cedric. Look at this robot. robot. Yeah, that's the that's what I'm saying. Like, is that a weird that's a, a very contained premise, I guess. Um, I think I right. think it also has like only a five on my anime list, so good luck. It has a six. Oh six. Oof. Alright, let's see what your second one is, All Cedric. Right, what's my second one? What's my second uh, one? Heaven's design team. Heaven's design. Oh, I'm actually looking forward to that one. Heaven's design team. Let's see. Let's go to my anime list. Uh, it's, it's it's it looks really cute, dude. It's about like a people from heaven, angels, just deciding what to make. In heaven's God. animal design department, designers craft a variety of new animals daily, while contending with the unreasonable quests of their client god wait did they just see that guy's instagram where he pretends to be god and he talks to gabriel and all like make a snake but with no bones and fur and make them really stinky i have no idea what the fuck you're referencing i will link them to you later all right so you got heaven design team and back arrow uh i thought it'd be a lot worse i'm happy with this all right well let me let me wait real fast let me delete these off this list so i can't get them well, okay, so how many are you getting? Do you want me to do also two? Uh, the less the better. Because then 
we'd have to add so many more segments to the show. Well, true. So you want me to so do two. one or two? You want me to do, do two? two. Yeah. Do two. Okay, do yeah. Two. Okay, because I'm already watching. Let's see. I got... I don't want to say that. M- Mushio Tension Jobless Reincarnation. Oh, my God. I know what you're doing. <laughs> what is this? Killed while Ooh. saving a stranger from a collapse collision. <gasps> a 33. Oh, it's an isekai. Dude, it's got 8.34. Pog. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, it, my God. It's an isekai. I love isekais. You're just going to get really uncomfortable when you see the romance aspect. Mm, but why? Because he reincarnates as a little boy. Mm. At least I didn't get redo the healer. Yeah, oh my god, at least you didn't get redo the healer. It's on the redo. list, though! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm crying. Oh, let's see it, let's see it, let's see it. <laughs> And then I got <laughs> the hidden dungeon only I can enter. I got two isekais. Fuck my life. <laughs> There's so many isekais. Uh, the hidden dungeon only I can enter. This. Okay, I don't like that in the in, in like the preview picture. It has like a girl with like sp- like very detailed spit in her mouth. Oh no. What? Oh no. <laughs> Or is the son of a minor noble with very little to his name? I, I, you've missed it. You've missed all about learning about anime. Oh, no, Jordan, have you read the synopsis? Uh, uh you're not gonna be okay with what. Nor happened. is the son of a minor noble with very little to his name, other than a job offer which is canceled before he can even start his first day. He does possess one rare trait, though: the magical ability to consult with a great sage. Even if he uses a skill, giving him terrible headaches, unsure of what his future holds, he access the sage for advice only on how to move forward and is directed to a secret dungeon with a rare beast, a magical item. It is here Nori will train compiling experience and wealth until he's empowered enough to change his fate. Okay, 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 okay. I need to correct you on something. That doesn't include how he levels up. Um, In order to get... <laughs> in order to get life points... Uh-huh. He has to do exciting things with alluring uh, members of the opposite sex. No. So, so if he wants to level up, he's, he's got to fuck some chicks. No. <laughs> no. Uh, what Why? Happened? Did you get I an isekai? Fucking, I hate it here. You got an isekai with a butt ton of fan service, my no, boy. those are the, my least favorite fucking shows. Oh my god, I lucked out. I, I am not a out. horny teenager. This isn't for me. You bitch. Now you have to deal with the consequences of this <sighs> random anime roulette generator. I get a shonen and a cute, wholesome, like, fantasy anime. I'm down. You, you get... A weird, a, a weird isekai and a fan service isekai. You at know the what? very least, at the very least, the first one is entertaining and animated very well. Second one, good luck, buddy. You know what? At the end of the day, Cedric, at least I can walk away and say that I didn't get redo of the healer. Of healer. <laughs> I can, I can, I can go to bed knowing that I don't ever have to watch or talk about that you can fucking go anime. To bed and sleep like a baby knowing you did get one of the hor- most horrible animes you can watch right now <laughs> uh, i know you want to talk about it fuck that anime i don't want to talk about it like that 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 series is so fucking edgy to a fault that it becomes boring after a certain point like it is not subtle it does not take any of the things it does in stride Redo of the healer hero is not good. It is not good. Only read it if you really like trash. It is just not good. Yikes. <laughs> Did you read it, Cedric? I read it. It was really interesting and edgy for the first few chapters, but after a certain point, it got boring. You like, heard it here first. What a hero is interesting and edgy. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't say that. Please don't say that. Please. <laughs> You know what? Also, anime. We I'm I'm glad we didn't get the one where it's like the girls love like I'm a nice office girl, but at night I'm a whore. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, she like she 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 like 
She's like a very nice officer. Uh, like she's like a like this well put together officer, but at night she just fucks dudes. <laughs> That's literally <laughs> the end. Of, uh oh my god, what is it called in English? Oh, I can't. I'm just gonna link it to you because I'm not gonna fucking butcher this. Just okay. I'm just gonna link you this, and I'm not gonna put it on stream because whoops. <laughs> Smart it's very man. horny. Smart man. All right. What is this? Co oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that first picture. Am I right? Jimmy Hen. Jimmy go. Oh my god. I'm gonna butcher that too. Fuck that. Yeah, that's why I didn't even try, buddy. But yeah, Cedric, how how you feel about anime right now? Feeling pretty good. I got some. I got good picks. You got. You know good what? Picks you know what, Cedric? Bad. That I can also have like sleep easy at night yeah i don't have to watch 12 episodes of x arm <laughs> yeah to remind me huh yeah of course you, you piece of shit yeah that's uh, what happens uh, when you judge a book by its cover Cedric. you can be like look fancy well, now, what? Uh, you, 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 <laughs> you you heard it here folks we we each have to deal with a stinker we had to deal with one stinker anime each <laughs> Ugh. I wish I had gotten garbage, one of the garbage idol animes. Damn it. Oh my god. Ugh, I could have oh dealt with Moe god. trash. I hate fan service. At least it wasn't redo the healer here. At least that's that's what we're going to end this first episode of Anime Roulette on. Don't watch <laughs> redo the healer. Don't think about it. Don't look I'm into it. At least only read the first half then quit. Don't don't <laughs> even do that. Don't give it any attention. Don't listen to Cedric. He's... <laughs> yeah, don't listen to me. I don't know what don't I'm Don't listen to him. It's not worth it. It's it not fucking not, worth it. It does not get any more interesting after a certain point. Just don't. It's like it's like how I trusted... Reading the Hero Fears the same way where I trusted people that said like, yeah, Goblin Slayer gets really good after the first episode. And then I watched all of Goblin Slayer and I was like, this fucking sucked. Yeah, it got this really This was boring. so boring. It's the same premise. It gets it's really interesting and edgy, then the quality <laughs> drops off cuz it's boring. Goblin Hero. Goblin Slayer wasn't even interesting. It was boring. Sleep. It sleep. was I, it The was main character had cool armor and that was it. <laughs> and then he he turned into CGI. <laughs> he sure did. RIP, sure he did. got so sick. He got sick, Cedric. He got turned into CGI. Oh no. <laughs> he turned into CGI. Oh God! Yes, the soundtrack is yeah, soundtrack. A lot of anime is saved amazing. exclusively by soundtracks because sometimes, yeah, uh, sometimes the soundtrack hit real good. Moral of the story: Chances are, if you if you indulge in a really edgy anime that's about horrible, horrible stuff happening, mm -hmm. it'll probably be good and then horrible later. Mm, I think it's always always bad. I'm gonna throw that out <laughs> there. I think it's always <laughs> bad. Uh. Well, Cedric, I think it's uh, time to wrap this bad boy up. Do you have any do parting thoughts? You mean parting thoughts? I love anime. It's a good time. I'm thoughts, uh... I I'm an I'm an otaku Garugamesh. Please stop. <laughs> Not everyone has seen that stupid meme video. Okay, Garugamesh. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Please, please <laughs> shut the fuck up. Please <laughs> shut the fuck up. All right, well, my parting thoughts are uh, skateboarding rules, XR. Stay rules. in school. <laughs> <laughs> skateboarding rules, stay in school. Don't be like XR. That's, <laughs> that's, that's sleepy, cozy boy, and what a hero the artist. And we're signing off. We're, we're signing off here. I, why are we using these voices? It's not cool. It's not cool at all. Like, just end stream right there. Okay, Please. bye. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, bye everyone. I can't believe Cedric's bullying me. Oh, shut up. All right, goodbye everyone. Bye. bye.